What is going on fishing friends? We are back with another video on the kayak fishing out here at Creepcourt Lake. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful morning. Absolutely beautiful morning. Sat out here for about an hour, watched the sunrise, cast it out a little bit, haven't got anything yet. Um, just messing around really. Uh, this is a really, really tricky lake to fish because it is really big. And I do not have like a fish finder or anything. So I'm just kind of going word of mouth on hitting little areas that some people uh, have told me that I've talked to here. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna try to see what we can get hooked up on. Uh, I'm gonna work my way down this direction and there's a little like cove around the corner. So I'm gonna hit over there. Um, I missed like a four and a half pound bass kind of towards the summer, uh, middle of summer over that direction. So see if I can't uh, can't find something over there and then I'll probably fish over there for about an hour and then work my way up to the creek uh, fish that in there and then yeah I'm only gonna fish for like a few hours so let's see if we can get hooked up on something I'll see you guys on the chest mount All right, let's get back out in this water. Oh, without breaking my paddle, come on. Super, super shallow right now. It's like, ooh, I don't want that. All right, and we're off. Dang, the tide right now is insane. The wind, it's just super windy today. This is a real complicated lake to fish, just uh, at least off a kayak. If you don't have like a trolling motor or something, keep you in place because it gets super windy on this main, the main part of the lake. Super windy. Currently have on a shad crankbait. All right, I think I'm gonna anchor here for a minute. Try to get a little bit closer to this side. I don't wanna get too close though. This spot right here underneath this tree that's kind of leaning over where I fought easily four or five pounds, four or five pound largemouth on a buzz bait, kind of midsummer. Crankbait. See what the heck we can get hooked up on here. Something just smacked it, dude.
get those couple casts. I just want to see what see how it feels. There we go. Fuck yeah. Finally, dude. Let's go. Let's go. Right when all hope was almost lost. Getting smacked. Let's go. Cool. Didn't get skunked. <laughs> right when I started talking shit. Patience is a virtue, everybody. Patience is a virtue. I can't believe I was just like, damn, I'm totally getting skunked today. Move up a little bit. Haven't caught anything all morning. I've been here for like three hours, two and a half hours. Nice little bass. Just freaking reamed it. That's pretty cool. Hell yeah, dude. Boop. Cool. <laughs> Didn't get skunked, dude. Yes. Sweet. All right, so this, uh, this spinner does pretty freaking well here. And I was, I was thinking about getting out of here a little early. <laughs> Some lines back in the water, dude. Look at how fast we're drifting already. Look at that. Boop. Look at that. The wake is so harsh that like my anchor's not even really keeping me in place fully. It's still dragging hard. Let's freaking go, dude. Set them in my pocket. <laughs> cool, bro. Oh, uh, my fucking anchor came loose. Fuck. Calm down, boy. Of course, you fucked yourself even harder. Look at that. Lucky son, you got lucky. Got lucky, boy. Heck yeah, son. Another really good one. Smacking the, sw uh, smacking the, uh, it's like a minnow. Heck yeah, dude. 
solid morning. Make sure I'm still filming. Sweet. This is insane right now. My ord I've almost lost this thing like six times because of the waves. <laughs> this is nuts. Heck yeah, solid morning though. Solid fucking morning. Hell yeah, Fisher dudes and dudettes. Solid morning so far. Keep drifting around with the anchor. Almost lost my paddle six times. Caught two bass already on the, sp on the spinner. Just been out here all morning trying to figure out what they're biting on. And turns out they're biting on this little like minnow spinner guy right here. Keep getting snagged on just about everything I come in contact with. But hey. Oh my god. I'll tell you what, it's a challenge getting back here. But once you're back here, man, it is it's a beautiful little uh, little creek off this lake. And you can catch some bass off the main uh, main lake as well, which is pretty cool. It's just a challenge getting in here and finding them, getting on them. You'll spend a couple hours testing lures and figuring out where they're at. And, you know, I've been skunked here plenty of times. And I've also had good days where I've caught, you know, three, four bass. But it's just a challenge out here. That's for sure.
All right, guys, I think that's going to wrap it up for this one. I'm going to go ahead and start heading back to the car, get some uh, lunch and dinner started. <sighs> Solid morning, some awesome catches. Couple of couple of really beautiful bass out of here. Like I said, this is a really, really complicated lake to fish. Um, Garmin or a hummingbird would be ideal for coming out here, especially off a of yak, just cause you can get more time out of it since you're paddling this big lake. This thing is huge. That's one of the downsides to fishing here is that, or at least off a of kayak is that you gotta get to where you want to go to fish and it's it's a it's a far one that's for sure and then on top of that it gets windy down here so you gotta know how to feather which i got mine on the wrong setting i don't know how to feather jesus but all right folks solid morning beautiful as always such a good time i hope you guys like the video if you did, drop a like, subscribe, leave a comment, share it with a friend, share it with a friend or family member, anybody who just loves the outdoors and likes fishing and could get a kick out of watching me sling lures, man. So I think I'm going to go ahead and end it. You guys have a good one and happy fishing.